Okay. Okay, good day guys. Today we shall be analyzing a trust section. Okay. So this is the trust from Ibella. Then you can open your start pro and give it any name you want. Choose your location, your unit. So I'm working the metric, so you create a job. Okay. So we'll bring out our grid. Now I can turn it to the front view. Okay. So every four meters, then you can turn off. You can turn off your green grid. Control C on your keyboard. Control V. So in the X direction, how many meters? Four meters. Okay. So we have this. Now the next thing is for us to follow the pattern. So we're not giving the height. So we're going to use more trigonometry. So to find the height from here to here is 3.46 meters. So we'll come back to our start pro. Select your node cursor. So Ctrl C on your keyboard, Ctrl V. So in the Y direction, 3.46410161515. Okay. So I like this. Ctrl, or you can right click, move. So we are moving it in the X direction, 2 meters. So it will be at the center. Okay. 2 meters. Next thing we do is to add beam. So let's add beams. So add beams. Okay. Okay. Now we need to add a node here so we can draw this member and a node here and draw this member. So from our trigonometry, we know that the distance from here to here is 4.619 meters. So what we do is insert node so distance 4 4.619 so add new point okay so this is it same way here insert node 4.619 meter add new points okay the next thing we do is to add member okay member one member two okay so the next thing we are doing is to assign property because we need to assign moment of inertia and also elastic modulus. So you just pick any section. Since we're not in the self width, add close. Assign to view. Assign to view. Okay. Next thing we do is we've already given the material, so it's still then specification. Since it's a truss, we are going to specify it as a truss structure. So you come to here, truss. Add so select the member that has trusses. Mm. Hold control for multiple selection. Okay, so assign to selected beams. Assign yes, okay. So support create support is a pinch support and a roller support. Yes, it's roller support. So come here, create roller fix boards. So we release this, 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 this. Okay? Add. So use cursor to assign. And assign here also. Okay? We are done. Then the next thing we do is, before we load it, we have to make it a trust structure. That's, we are working on this trust plane. So we'll come your command file from space. Change it to trust. Okay? Save it. Then close. Okay. So you can put it back on your front view. Okay, so the next thing we do is to assign load. So come here, add load. So what type of load? Since I'm not working with dead load, dead or non. So add, close, add. Now we're working with node load, and the load says three kilonewtons, two kilonewtons, and three kilonewtons. So we'll come back here, minus two kilonewtons. You add it. Then minus three kilonewton, you add. Okay, so two kilonewton. Use cursor to assign, assign, assign it here. Three kilonewton, assign here and here. You can reduce the skill by coming to structure diagram, skill, point four. So apply immediately, increase it. Okay, so you can see it. Then the next thing we do is to analyze. 
So what type of analysis are we going for? We are going for normal first order analysis to add, close, then run the analysis. Okay. So zero error, zero warning, zero notes. So let's go to our post processing. Okay. Okay. So let's see our reactions. We have four kilonewton, four kilonewton. So select your text cursor to drag it. Text cursor. So four kilonewton, four kilonewton. Let's see this. They have four kilonewton, four kilonewton. Okay. So let's see the force at member AG. So the force here. So they got eight kilonewton. So let's see our beam result. So click here. We got eight kilonewton. Let's see which other force again. F A G. F A B is this so six point nine two. So six point nine two. We got that. Okay. So what other member did they analyze again? So F G B. F G B this member. F G B three kilonewton. Okay. Three kilonewton. So thank you for watching today's video. Please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and like it. Thank you very much.